Alright guys, today we'll be learning how to convert any image into a 3D extruded layer in Photoshop. Enjoy! Alright, so the very first thing you guys need to do is obviously drag in an image or a text or any kind of logo like that. Secondly, what you guys want to do is the very first step of actually making it look 3D. And this is like a really simple and a quick tutorial. So all you want to do is go to the layer right here. Go ahead and right click this and then click new 3D extrusion from selected layer. If you click that, it will ask for you are about to create a 3D layer. Would you like to switch to the 3D workspace? And you can click yes. And after that, this whole 3D workspace will show up and you can just play around with it, but I'll just be teaching around the basics. So if you want to move around, you can go ahead and go to the left bottom and then you can just click around the space and you can move around and look around the logo. And then if you just want to move the actual shape or the 3D layer, you can just select outside right here and then while clicking, you can just move it around like that. It's pretty simple. And then if you want to move around the height and all that, click this and then just drag it like that. So pan the 3D camera. You can go ahead and do that. And then the left one, it's orbit the 3D camera. So it's kind of like going around, you know. And then after that, you can go ahead and click dolly the 3D camera. So what this will do is just zoom in and zoom out. So these are the three main tools to use when looking around and creating your 3D shape. And if you want to change the thickness of the 3D shape, you can look to the right side of your screen and you'll see extrusion depth. So right now I have it on 28.93, but I want to make it a bit more thinner because this is too thick. So you guys can just drag this. If you want to, you can make it thicker, obviously, but I'll be making it around this one. Alright, so now that I've got my 3D part done, all you want to do is just set your camera. You can go ahead and play around with these tools and then orbit and feel free to play, play around. Just, you know, move it. I like to move it like that, probably. Then I'm probably going to orbit it a bit more, kind of like that. Look down. Probably going to move it a bit up more and then yeah just go ahead and play around like that and you should find a pretty good angle so i really like this angle so i'll be keeping it this way and then you just want to get rid of the 3d workspace right you just want to exit the 3d workspace and then what you do is go ahead and click window and click workspace and then go to essentials default and then just click outside of your layer so just like right here maybe in an empty place of your layer and boom your 3d part is gone and then if you want to move around this place if you try and move around it will just stay like the 3d way so you, all you want to do is just right click this and then convert to smart object and then boom it's a normal layer now and it just simply looks 3d you can centerize it and it looks amazing so yeah you can just play around with this awesome 3d tool uh, today was a pretty short tutorial and yeah thank you so much for watching also, just a quick note, I just found out about this 3D tool today, and then I just wanted to share it to you guys. Please don't hate on me if you already knew it, or like, you know, if I'm pretty late. Like, I, I'm probably like super late, like this tool probably existed in like from the start of Photoshop. But I just found it, and I thought it was super cool. So if you guys didn't know, make sure to drop a like and play around with it. It's super fun. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!